I believe the difference to be that there were two things that I didn't have a deep enough understanding of about my faith that I have now. That is the six foot 11 inch Jonathan Isaac as an ordained minister at Jump Ministries Global Church. He had to lean on that faith this summer. Who can forget this image? Isaac standing alone as the only NBA player to stand for the national anthem. I wasn't standing in opposition to you kneeling. I was standing in, uh, in, in, in a way saying that you're offering a solution and I'm offering one as well. That was my opportunity to say, you know what? Um, I respect you, I respect your answer or the league or the players, but listen, I have my own answer that has worked for me, that has helped me grow, that has taught me so much about myself and as a man that I've seen minister to other people and I want uh, other people and I want to I want to display that. While he faced heavy criticism, he was also overwhelmed with countless messages of support from total strangers, sending his magic jersey to the second most popular in the NBA. He then took that Christian message on social justice directly directly to Pope Francis at the Vatican in November. It was a once in a lifetime opportunity. And really what I was excited about is that even though there were differences, um, let's say like in the bubble where, you know, guys had made the decision to kneel and I made the decision to stand that I was still asked to accompany them on this trip and really give my really Christian form of social justice. He lives that out every day in Central Florida, from delivering meals to families in need during the pandemic to helping kids learn to read. Being a role model is something Jonathan takes very seriously. And in a year that saw many social justice issues, that leadership role in minority communities did not change. It honestly hasn't changed very much because it's what I've been doing from, from the start. Like, uh, I would say my form of social justice is ministry. We, like we talked about Project Life, the majority of the people that we minister to with feeding, with clothes, with shelter is you know, uh, people that look like me. It's almost like holistic healing. We, we minister to them in, in physical and spiritual, and that, that is my form of social justice. The former Florida State star is recovering from a setback this summer, injuring his knee a second time, forcing him to miss the entire season. He is passionate about his rehab and very dedicated. When I get up in the morning and I head to the gym and I start my rehab, I'm thinking like, okay, the game has just started and this is the game that's in front of me. There's no other game. I'm not out there on the court. I'm here in this weight room. I'm here in this pool and I'm trying to get better um, to get back to the game. But I'm, I'm, I'm going for a championship right now. What a passionate 23-year-old. Isaac says he's going to be back on the NBA court next season. Until then, you'll find him in the community and maybe even at the pulpit. You can find the full interview this weekend on Orlando Matters. Ryan Elijah, Fox 35 News.